In addition to the configuration files which I provide for NeoVim and Zathura, I've also included configuration for Alacrity, which is a terminal emulator, and Tmux, which is a terminal multiplexer. And together this provides a nice alternative to the terminal which comes stock with whatever operating system you have. So to get some sense of this, let's open up first just the stock terminal. So this is the GNOME terminal which comes with my operating system. And it's a fine terminal. Um, it does have this thick bar up at the top, which I don't really need. And although it has tab support, this adds another thick bar. So I've kind of already given up a fair amount of real estate and haven't gained very much in return. Um, and although it does the job just fine, um, I see very little reason not to switch to Alacrity. Uh, Alacrity also boasts being one of the fastest terminals. And although this terminal has worked just fine for my needs, um, it's no, no problem with uh, using a, a really nice and fast terminal. So let's switch to Alacrity. So this is Alacrity. Notice there's no big bar up the top and there's no tab support which comes built in to Alacrity. And it's really that which I'm using Tmux for. Tmux can do a lot more than just tabs. If you have a big monitor which you work on, um, this might be useful to you. You can split the screen in a bunch of different ways and open up different panes and navigate through them. And there's all kinds of different things you can do with Tmux. But for a laptop, which is what I'm primarily going to be working on, this is about the smallest that I would like to work, uh, you know, a small size window I'd like to uh, write text in anyways, so I don't need to split panes. Um, and really all I need is different tabs, or what is called windows inside Tmux. So to get some sense of this, um, let's first open up, so say I cd into a project folder. So you see that I was able to autocomplete that, so that's being handled by fish. Fish is the terminal shell which I have, and this Fish is really nice for a number of reasons. Um, it does do autocompletes. It can guess where you're going to go, where you've been recently. Um, that's very nice. Um, it also has extensive help files, so if you forget an exact command, you can look them up all fairly easily. So let's go into this project folder. So Fish also has Git integration, so it tells me I'm on the master branch for a file. There's a file in here which I'm tracking. Um, it tells me there's been one commit since my last push. Um, and so, you know, if I were to want to push the file, I could do so from here. I could check its status and autocomplete this. Um, so yeah, that's fairly useful. Um, let's go back. Um, actually, let's go all the way back to the home folder. Um, one other nice thing that um, Fish provides. So say I've autocompleted this, but then I changed my mind and I want to go somewhere else. So I could just press backspace a whole bunch, um, but notice this I over here. So this tells me I'm in insert mode. If I hit uh, escape, that switches to normal mode, just like Vim. So now we can use the standard Vim command, so I can do DD, and then switch back to I. So it doesn't make, I'm not gonna spend too much time in my terminal anyways, but um, since you're writing Vim anyways, uh, might as well use it in the terminal. So that's a little bit about fish. Um, let's now open a new window using Tmux. So I have it mapped to control space um, and then C for create window. And so notice it down here it says number two fish and it has a little star telling me that's that's the window I'm in. And let's open up NeoVim. So the main idea here is that for every window I'm gonna have one project. So say we open up say two here, logic of religion. So this is a project um, and it right now only has two buffers. So these are also like tabs you can say, but um, the thought is, is that yeah, for each window, one project and in that project, I might have multiple tabs. Um, and you know, it's fine if I close one of these, do space D um, because I can always easily open it either with control P and open that. Or um, if I close that again, I can do control E and open it this way. Um, so, so yeah, and, and so these tab, these tabs up here, I can tab through using the tab key. That's convenient. And for these windows, I do control space and then N for next and control space N to keep cycling through them. 
or I can do control space of P for, um, I'm sorry, control space P for previous. Um, that's about all that I'm using Tmux for, um, though it does a whole lot more than that. Um, so that's just a little bit about Alacrity and Tmux. Um, I provide all the installation instructions um, down here for Alacrity, Tmux, and Fish. And you can see for installing these three programs, there's not very much to do. A um, few commands to run in the terminal, and um, I think it's well worth it. They, they work really well together. And um, yeah, I've been, I've been quite happy so far. Um, so yeah, I, I do suppose that I will continue to modify these configuration files. Um, however, I have to say that the functionality which I've already achieved uh, for writing LaTeX documents is very satisfying to me. I feel like this is much better and certainly much snappier, um, faster setup than what I had in Sublime and can do everything that I needed to do in Sublime. And so, yeah, I feel, though though I have a bunch of issues which I have opened, which, um, you know, little things I'd like to continue to, to work out, like, for instance, I'd like to have a Pandoc plugin and um, um, and so on. Uh, but but nevertheless, I've, I'm, I feel quite satisfied with the, the configuration that I have so far. So hope that it is of some use to you. And um, I've certainly benefited just a great deal from the resources online and hope to make some modest contribution.